He inclines his head, before casting a glance behind me to where my friends are unloading the van. I guess that means those three are off limits, he asks in a low voice. If you want to go home with all your man parts intact, yes, I whisper back, flinching when he laughs. Even his laugh is sexy, a sensual expression of mirth that showcases even white teeth. And that delicious neck I know smells better than fresh bread, lavender-scented candles, and a pan of recently fried bacon combined. Though probably better to keep those smells separate. Got it. He winks at me, before lifting a hand to the women behind me and backing away with a husky, good day, ladies, that triggers a sigh from one of the weaker members of our company. I spin back around to find out which of my friends has become tangled in Jameson's smolder web, to find Shelley and Dawn leaning against the van with slightly dazed expressions, and Piper wiping drool from her chin. Are you drooling? I ask, glaring at the athletic brunette I'm sure Jameson would have made a play for, if I hadn't made it clear that my friends are off limits. Tell me you aren't drooling, Piper Youngman. Who was that? She asks with a grin, not even bothering to deny the accusation. Me like. Me too, Shelley adds with a sigh that stirs the fuzzy blonde curls falling into her face. But you can have dibs, Piper, since you drooled and all. No, she cannot have dibs. I prop my hands on my hips. Jameson is off limits. Dawn's pierced eyebrow lifts. Oh, it's like that, is it? Back off, ladies. Studley's already spoken for by the birthday queen. No, it's not like that, I say. I just- And what the birthday queen wants, the birthday queen gets, Piper interrupts, lifting her hands into the air. I withdraw my claws. Pounce away, sister. I huff. I am not going to be pouncing anyone, 